I do want to put you back in the role for a brief bit of, of draft analyst. I ask you this every year. Uh, now being on, as you said, the dark side, the other side, I'm, I'm wondering how you answer the question of what part of the draft or, that you can tell from 60,000 feet that the NFL has looked at these kids and looked at the game today and decided in a copycat league or just in the league that is maybe uh, transitioning into a type of play, what story does the drafting of the prospects overall writ large tell? Uh, it's a changing game. And, and Rich, you and I have talked about it, especially the last two or three years, uh, especially with the style of quarterback play and the style of players we're getting from college football and the NFL is adapting. And, you know, you look at Cliff Kingsbury and Steve Kime and the Arizona Cardinals, and they had a tough decision to make. Uh, and they went with the changing times, a five foot ten quarterback who's got special ability. Um, and they believe that kid's the future of the NFL. You know, I sit here in, in my office and I look at this AFC West wall that faces me every day because, you know, we're four and 12 and we weren't very good last year. And I look up at the name Patrick Mahomes every day and I get pissed like like he's the future. And, and how do we stop him? Um, and he does things nobody's ever done. And. You know, they've, they've got guys that spread the field horizontally and vertically. And so I think the game's changing. We're getting different players out of college football. And I think the theme continues um, that we have to evaluate a little bit differently. And ha we have to be more accepting of the type of player that we're getting. And to not always say, what can't the guy do? But you got to take a step back and say, what can this guy do to help us get better? And then, you know, being a, a draft analyst for as long as you were with us, we, we look at drafts and we see who's been drafted and say that this tells a story about a certain team. So as the general manager, the, does this draft of the Raiders tell the story that Derek Carr is your guy at quarterback? Well, I, I mean, we're always going to do our, our homework at every position. That's my job, right? That's our job, and I have a head coach that loves quarterbacks, so we're always going to analyze and evaluate quarterbacks, but are you kidding me? Derek Carr is our guy. I, I don't think there's any doubt about that, and we're ready to ride with him. Fantastic. Hey, man, you've, you've had it all in your first couple months uh, as GM. I mean, you, you acquire somebody of Antonio Brown's caliber – uh, just as all of that was going on on social media, you got your first draft with three first-round draft choices. You got people second-guessing your draft choices. You had uh, what was going on with the scouts, which you and I have talked about off-air, and I brought up uh, on the air, too, what you were doing with your due diligence on that regard. I mean, you've, been, you've had it all, pretty much, Mike, in the you last few it, it, it's weeks. It's been a blast. I've never been more energized. John Gruden brings more energy to every room he walks into than I've ever seen in my life by anybody. And, and all day, every day, it's about football and finding the right people. And I, when I say people, I'm talking about coaches, scouts, players. In, it's all about the people, Rich, in every industry, you know. And I, that's what I found, whether it was commercial real estate, broadcasting, uh, or the Oakland Raiders. It's about the people in the building. And if you get the right people together, I think you flourish. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.